Hi there, it's Ashbear from In-House Solutions with a What's New video for 2026. In this video, I'll be talking about the additional buttons they've added in here. We'll get into a little bit more depth on left holding, as well as the ability to select with a freehand method here, and the icon that shows up in Verify Selection as you hover over geometry. So I'm just going to turn on a different level here. And now we have wireframe and some solids on the screen. And actually I'll turn on this as well. So now I've got uh, solids, wireframe, and I have my part. So you can see as I hover over something, I get this little icon that shows me uh, one of five or one of four. So essentially what that is, is what is underneath my cursor? What is What do you want to select? So if I right click, you'll see that you can highlight between which cursor entity that you want to pick. So I'm just going to change this back to automatic here. And if I right click again, it says line, solid, solid, your main body. And again, if you right click, if I select now, the whole line is highlighted. If I pick the line, if I go back, you can see now the jaw is the thing that's right behind my cursor. If I click now, it highlights the jaw. Again, you can see how it makes things transparent and hide. So now the vice body is the one that's behind my jaw. If I click now, it'll pick that. So a quick and easy way to um, kind of look through your model if you want to, to pick things behind. The next thing is this additional freehand selection method. So this allows you to drag a line or a, a spline through your geometry and it picks everything underneath. So again, you can drag it through, it picks everything underneath. And it obviously looks at what you have enabled in your um, quick mask. So if I say wireframe, if I drag it through, it'll only pick wireframe. So a nice easy way to uh, additionally change what your cursor sees or how you pick entities in MasterBuild. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about here is the ability to click on what you want to in here to get into exactly the section. So that took me right into work holding. And of course, if I click simulation or tool settings, it'll take me right to that tab. It saves you a click. And while we're in here, let's talk about work holding. So they've added the ability to select certain groups of geometry for a work holding. So I'm going to pick op one here. And I'll pick my op one WCS. And I want to pick my op one uh, group here. I want to verify these things. So op one, if I verify, it'll load up my op1 fixtures, and you'll see they actually come in as fixtures. And if I verify, obviously it'll remove all the material. If I wanted to verify my op2 operation, I'm going to click on work holding, uh, set my work holding as op2. And here I'll show you over here, if I click on op2, it flips apart over, and I have some soft jaws and stuff set up for my op2 work holding. Here's my OP2 setup, and I verify that one, and it'll load up my fixtures the way they are. And you can see it flips the stock over as well. And lastly, I'll show you the OP3 one. Again, it's exactly the same procedure. Uh, set your work holding initially, so OP3, and set your WCS. And there's my thing that I've selected. I'm going to press play. And essentially, it'll load up my fixtures. And again, they are fixtures. And you can set it up for collision checking and all that kind of stuff. So a couple of new easy things to make your life a lot simpler in MasterCam 2026. Uh, we'll uh, chat soon.